I want to show you how to set up an OPC server to work with Wonderware Online. I need to have an XML configuration file and an XML schema in the same folder to make editing as simple as possible. When I open a configuration file, sometimes Excel may not bring this import dialog to the top, so look for it hidden behind another window if it doesn't appear quickly. Most important thing is to get the tag name right. That's not easy to change. Then I also have to make sure I get the subscriptions to the OPC item set up correctly with the application name with Factor Suite Gateway, the topic that I'll configure, and the actual item name in the OPC server. Now, if I switch over to my PC that's actually running the OPC server, I've already installed the historian publisher, and I launch the system management console. And I have to do my initial configuration of what we call the Factory Suite Gateway. This is a one-time configuration. Have to set it to auto start and actually start it now. Then I have to select the OPC server, in this case, Proface. Save that. And then there's some optional configuration I can do. Everything's organized around device groups. I can add another device group, give it a name, and then I can optionally set a prefix. This is a, a string that's applying to all the items I use against this group. It saves me having to type that every time. I can also set up aliases. Again, these are optional, but I can give a more meaningful name for what might be a rather cryptic item name in the OPC server. So in this case, the, the familiar name I'll use is temperature, and that maps to LS1 in the actual OPC server. Now I've finished my Factor Suite Gateway setup and I'm ready to import the tag list I created in Excel. I have to log into Wonderware Online. And I'm going to register a new data source. A data source represents an OPC server, and it's a name that's going to be meaningful to me in my applications, probably something other than my new source. When I click Publish, this source gets registered in online and immediately sets up a subs subscription to the OPC server and begins sending data. It is that simple.